guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the Apex Predator Billiards Training Club. My name is Apex Selenium and in today's video tutorial, we are going to be adding some more value to our shot making skills. Of course, a previous video was uploaded on my channel that talks about three specific shots on the table that comes up a lot in your nine ball, 10 ball and eight ball game. And it was actually a 30 degree cut shot of different magnitude of difficulty. We had the three balls placed here, that is one here, one here, and one here, and they all had the same reference aiming point regardless of the difficulty of the shot. So of course, a link is down in the description box below and right here in the cards for you. Definitely check that video out if it is that you want to understand more about the reference point of aiming. Now in this video, we're turning up the shot level up to a 45 degree cut shot and these are four shots on the table that oftentimes you may see come up also in your eight ball, nine ball and 10 ball game. Two of the shots are very repetitive and fairly easy, of course, but the other two are going to be of a certain magnitude of difficulty that requires precise aiming. We're going to be using the Dr. Dave Billiard's fractional ball aiming to minimize the margin for error for these shots. So without further ado, let's get onto the practice table, see what these shots are all about, and of course, improve our shot making to another level. Consider smashing that subscribe button below, turning on your post notification bell to be notified whenever I post any new content. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and of course, share this out to your pool communities. Let's get onto the table and learn these four 45 degree cut shots. All right guys, so the first shot that I want to talk to you about here is of course a shot that a lot of amateurs, whenever they see this shot, it makes them nervous. And because it makes them so nervous, they tend to hit the ball a bit too hard and they often sometimes tend to play the shot like this and it misses or they may play the shot and it goes straight into the drink. So what I'm gonna do to you, what I'm gonna show you here is just a very basic form of, of course, aiming here where, of course, this particular shot here is actually a very basic 45 degree cut shot using the CTE system for aiming. With a 45 degree cut shot, or what is known as a quarter ball cut shot, you simply have to aim the center of the cue ball on the outside edge of, in this case, the two ball. So with a rolling cue ball here, you're gonna find easily in both pockets that the two ball can be deposited without scratching. So it doesn't matter if you're very far away here or you're very close to the two ball, it's going to be the same reference point. It's just that your perspective might change a little bit. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be cutting this two ball in. And all we're doing here, guys, is that we're aiming towards this outside edge with rolling cue ball here, outside edge. And you can see nicely that it took minimal effort for that shot to go into the pocket. Here, it's still gonna be the same procedure here, aiming to the right side of the pocket here. So again, just aiming on the outside edge of the fireball here. Focusing guys, bearing down. And nicely there you can see that that fireball went into the pocket with minimal effort. And all I was doing here is that I'm focusing on just the outside edge of the object ball. Here's a picture of what a quarter ball cut shot looks like right here in the corner for you here. All right, and that's what it looks like. Now, another shot that comes up a lot is the 45 degree cut shot where you have to go across table, okay? So if, if you are aiming, say, from the center here, and let me first discuss with you how a 45 degree cut shot is recognized on the table. For this particular one here, the six ball is actually near to the center diamond here. So if I count one, two, three, four, 
Then what I've created here is a perfect square. So four diamonds on the long rail, four diamonds across the table here, four diamonds up here, and four diamonds across. That's a perfect square created on the table. So if I'm shooting from one vertex of the square to the other vertex, then I've automatically created here a 45 degree cut shot. Now guys, just as I told you with the referencing a while ago, I'm aiming to the outside edge. It's the same referencing here. I'm aiming towards the outside edge of the six ball here. And it doesn't matter if you're using low top spin or center ball, it's gonna be the same result. So here I'm just aiming with stun. I'm focusing on the outside edge here, just on the outside edge. And that was nicely done by you guys on that shot. Did take me a couple of tries, of course. You're gonna have results like this, where you catch the reel a little bit early, or you go into the pocket and you maybe scratch. But the point of this video is not necessarily to show you that you can scratch or not scratch. It's just to show you the reference point of aiming. Now, it's always good that when you're playing shots like these, you try to do it on both sides of the table to train both the left side and the right side of your brain. So here, again, a 45 degree cut shot is about here. And once again, just playing this shot with a stun here, okay? Reference point of aiming is just on the outside edge of the six. And that was nicely done there, nicely executed. All right, so both shots that you've seen so far are the same point of referencing they are just aiming on the outside edge here is shot number three now of course is one of the difficult shots well it's the second of the difficult shots that is going to be a part of this video not a very familiar shot that pops up but when it does using this point of reference point of aiming you're going to deposit this shot into the pocket more than likely a lot of times here we go guys we are on this particular shot here this is the four ball and we have the four ball and let's pretend like all the other pockets are blocked let's put a six ball here okay and you're not able to pocket it straight up so you have a tough shot that you have to cut to your left and so with a shot like this also this is a 45 degree cut shot and most of the time you're going to find yourself cutting the shot maybe over cutting under cutting using spin you get different varying results but if it is that you use this reference point of aiming here then you're gonna find easily that you deposit this four ball into the pocket oftentimes. So let's see if you can get one in here. Remember you're aiming towards the outside edge of the four ball here. Trust and believe in the system that it works. Nicely done there, very smooth and deposited that into the pocket, all right? And again, as I said, always try to do the same shot on both sides of the table during your practice session. This is not a get up, make it one time, and then move right along. You wanna build a routine practice session out of this. So once again, you're blocked by the five in this case, and you have a cut shot on the six. Quite simply here, guys, just aim towards the center, just aim towards the outside edge, here, focus on the shot guys, believe in the system that it works. And that was nice executed there, of course. That did take me a couple of tries. You're gonna get results like these that you see here running on the screen. You're gonna come a little bit in terms of like you undercut a little bit because sometimes when you're aiming, the angle doesn't feel right and you tend to adjust but as i said guys it's all about believing that the angle of the cut is exactly 45 degrees if it's within that range right so the last example i'm going to show you here is of course where you're in the middle of the table now all right again let us construct the 45 degree since you're in the middle of the table you're two diamonds out like so two diamonds down Two diamonds out again. So this is the perfect square you're looking at. And again, we're going to be cutting this ball into the side pocket here. Okay. And again, we're not really looking at the cue balls part. We're just really looking at 
the angle of the cut. So with a shot like this here, sometimes you're going to have a lot of players kind of undercutting this ball and hit high on the rail here or they tend to overcut and it goes on this side here. So for me, a nice reference for this shot here is just simply just on the outside edge here. And that cue ball is just going to take one diamond forward. We should have it hit into this one ball that I'm putting as a reference point here. So it's also good that during the practice sessions of these shots, you record exactly where the cue ball is going to improve your positional play. So here we go, reference point of aiming just on the outside edge of the fly ball here, top spin. Nice little there. You can see it went right into the one ball. Again, you definitely want to try to do this on the other side also, as highly recommended here. So that's the 45 degree. And we know that with a rolling cue ball or top spin, we should find that ball heading right into the one here. So here we go. A very easy shot, but it can be highly over underrated. And that's when you miss the shot. nicely here all right so what you can do guys is that you can actually build up a session with yourself you have four shots that are problematic for you and you get on the practice table set up these shots practice them repetitively 30 times 40 times and you get a feel because at some point aiming systems won't be good enough for you because when you want to get into dead stroke you are gonna have to tap into your subconscious mind and start to run rocks without thinking about these basic concepts of aiming all right so hopefully you like this little video here guys of course a link is in the description for useful videos that may add some more value to your game and supercharge your game with consistency so without further ado let's bring this video to the end guys do not forget to like share subscribe leave me a comment down below guys of course uh, turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new content and just thank you all for the support and I must say I've reached the monetization aspect of my video thank you all for the support that you've given me over the past year I'm just looking forward to giving you more great content all right do take care until next time this is Rick and you're signing out continue practicing and building your game with a level of precision accuracy control and consistency. Peace. Take care guys. Hey guys, so here's a creative way of getting out of this rack. Your opponent has left you hooked on the one. A creative way is to play with center ball into the pocket facing of the side pocket and it will do something like this really nice and once you're on the two or you're on your next object ball all you have to do is just pocket the object ball and come around two rails for an easy shot on the nine try the shot it's very creative add it to your game supercharge your game and you can get better creative runouts. Subscribe and follow me for more great content.